Pi 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 pi. I can't read high notes. Well, hello and welcome to my tutorial of how to do a pixel icon. Some people told me about doing one a couple of months ago, so I'm here doing one. First of all, I like to apologize in advance about explanation mistakes I could do during the video. Since English is not my mother language and I'm not good at explaining things, if there's any doubt, feel free to comment below. Saying that, let's begin. In my opinion, to start doing a pixel icon, you need a base for it. A naked and big-headed base to do as many characters as you want. If you pay attention at the pixel icons around Devin Todd, you'll notice that most of the people who open pixel commissions use a self-made base, and all the icons commissioned have the same pose and face. Although there's some awesome people who can do different poses for every commission, and I find it so awesome, but um, since we're starting, we can do anything about it. Normally, when you're starting with pixels, bases are as essential as difficult to do. I did mine in Microsoft Paint. That's the second one I made, so it looks way better than the first one. Just be patient and don't give up. Some people do a sketch first in Paint will say, or in Photoshop, or in another drawing program, and then resize it to after make it with pixel line art. Well, the way you do it is always up to you. What we're gonna do now is looking at the reference images of the character. Analyze her hairstyle and how her clothes are, to draw it later in the icon. For the sketch I always use bright colors like light red or blue or green because they stand out and it's easy to make the sketch. We'll try to make the sketch the more accurate at the original design. Sometimes it's difficult, but in almost all the cases it's not impossible. Patience is the key. Actually, I don't do sketch and then I line art, not anymore. Now I got used to make the sketch and then clean the lines directly from the sketch. But you can do the way you want. Remember, this is the way I do the things, but doesn't mean that's the only way. To make it clear, as almost everyone know, because in every single good pixel tutorials explains it, when doing a pixel line or a car, if you want to get it stylized and well looking, for every line it only has to be one pixel. In resume, you have to erase all the surrounding and useless pixels. If not, the final result will look quite messy. I'm going to fix it until I'm satisfied with the shape of everything. Now, without any further delay, we're going to color the line out. I like to color it darker than the base color. This is the way I do. If you prefer to make all the line art black, it's again up to you. Now it's all color, let's move on the shading. Alright, let's create a new layer and clip it at the base hair color layer for the shading. Clip it means that you'll only color inside the base color, so there's no chance to get out of the base color while shading. That makes everything easier, isn't it? We're going to pick a darker color to shade. This is my style of coloring pixel hairs. First of all, I make some lines that gather in a common place, which is about the head. I do the same I do with the line art, I clean the lines. Then I darken a bit the lines I made, and now with a darker tone than the base color, I use my cell shading style, the style I use for regular dragons, not pixels. The lightning is based in a few lines with reduced opacity, which I link with dots, making a kind of tiara around the hair. So, we're done with the hair, let's go with the clothes. When coloring clothes, I do the same exact thing as I do with coloring the hair. I click a new layer, the base color layer, and I start shading. I don't put much effort on the clothes because, from my point of view, it would look overcrowded. But I have to admit that there are some people that make this and it looks very cool. So again, this is up to you. For the skin, I already set up a palette of colors when I did the base, and I only apply it. The darker color, that is the pinkish one, I use it only in a few places, and then I put the other colors from darker to light, which makes a gradient effect. For the blush of the cheeks, I use the brush too, because it looks better than doing it with a pixel pencil.
In the next tutorial, we'll see how to animate the icon with Adobe Match Ready. Stay tuned for the next uploading. And thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. See you!